Hi guys I hope everyone is doing well. I am not okay I'm kind of going through a breakup right now. So the series will been delayed for a month I am sorry I just need to process some things. I hope you guys enjoy this I had fun making this I love you guys so much. And also thank you for 2000 subscribers I love you guys so 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 much I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You char- Disclaimer, I do not own any of the Haikyuu characters or art said. This is not how I view the Haikyuu characters. This is just for pure entertainment. Warning, language might not be suitable for audience under the age of 13. That's all I have to say on to the video. Tweaking, pussy oh. water, pussy leaking. Oh. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shake your ass to tease a nigga, girl you low down Lick your tongue, got in public, give me hit and go down Fuck on that Wooter, got a stupid, want some more round Damn shawty raw, raw. she eat dick and balls raw. Keep a pussy ball, got me tweaking in them drawers tweaking. <laughs> No tweaking, got me tweaking in them drawers No tweaking, got me weakly in them drawers oh. Rich nigga dick, Rich. and I'm on my shit oh. Shawty love a nigga, she go crazy about the dick Tell your nigga chill out, don't do arguing in this bitch Got my members with me, bitch, you sparking in this bitch, big dude What's going on with everyone? Bakuto changed the name of the GC, messy ass GC BC everybody cheating in this bitch Don't say everybody now cause, nope not me, Tsukishima, Hinata and Kageyama came online K, why haven't you been answering your phone? What? Fuck you mean why the fuck you not answering my calls? Erm buddy let's be smart here. It's maybe because you cheated or IDK. That's I end the You cheated like a week ago. Still. I ain't sorry. Nigga, no. Welp why ain't he sorry, for not picking up the phone there gotta be more to it. Bro Kageyama and Hinda please tell me what's going on. Don't call me so, I am not your sister, I will fuck your Mana, stop it what omg omg, chat, is this real, Tsukika Jehina? Wait are y'all joking or did you guys, yeah, y'all want some pictures? What the fuck, we helped him take his mind off of things for a little bit, he's very pretty without his glasses, and his skin is so soft he also looks pretty when he cries, Hinata what the fuck, what, I thought that's what we was doing now, how did you leave Tsukshima for Komori, exactly shut the fuck up, I don't usually agree with cheating but this is reasonable cause that's a get back. He trying to roll me up. I Oh you just got your nigga to cause you wanted to cheat. Sigh. This is actually embarrassing Yamaguchi. Now we're like a GC bot. I wanna go to the club with you. Shit Yamaguchi you've really done it. Me and my lady sip my deuce a cup. I don't give a fuck up in my deuces up. Suck on my balls, balls. I had enough.
how you turn a nerd into a bad boy. Tell me how that work. He was literally so quiet and only talked when he was spoken to bra. How you created this demon. But I DK I liked it though. deserve so much better. NGL Yamaguchi I'll help you get your man back cause tbh I feel like just saying all this cause you cheated. Really? Yeah bra I got you me and Bakudo. Bakudo who? Not me. Bakudo bro come on. No. I don't hang around cheaters. Please bra. I'll think about it for you. Not for Yamaguchi. Thank you bro. I saw you. I saw you. I Please Tsukishima. Please, I'm so fucking sorry. I don't even care that you slept with Hinata and Kageyama. I do and it hurts but I just want you. Chasing art? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, hell no. Yamaguchi, you should just give up. We already hit that. Got that. You lost the CAHT, then we hit that. Bro Kageyama STFU bro, Tsukishima doesn't even fuck with y'all, really? He was screaming my name, in his sheets, he was gripping the sheets, it looks like his mother oh! had head before TBH, OMG, I'm screaming, this can't be real chat, I'm going for real, like how you a bop and can't fuck your man right, Brona, wrap it up, he clocked you so bad, you guys are talking all this shit acting like I won't have him back in the next week, watch, Tsukishima please answer the phone I'm sorry. NGL Chad, I don't think you're getting your man back. Two niggas fuck your man. The two niggas that did it was supposed to be you man's like that. I just know Yamaguchi putting his hand on his head bra and crashing the fuck out. I said him sorry oh my fuck. Okay I get it I fucked up I'm sorry instead of cheating I should have left or fuck I should have talked to you about it but I didn't and they is why we are like this now I'm so fucking sorry Tsukishima you didn't deserve any of that bullshit I Hundred fifty that they not getting back TG. I bet two hundred they getting back together. Me and Bakudo gone help him. Like we a pro at apologizing. Tease his will. Chat, this is wild, but what about Oika, Iwazumi, Tenda, and Ushijima, and Sunakomori, Osamu, Atsumu, and Sakusa? Cause why the fuck is everything happening like C? Shit, we'll figure that later. No, I ACT wanna know what's going on between Oika and Ushijima, cause they just went quiet for two weeks, and Tenda and Ushijima, the way TGE was acting on shit. Looking at my watch, you should have been home. Today, I regret the night I put that ring on. He always got them fucking excuses I pray the Lord you reveal what his truth is Why are y'all stressing the poor man out now? He acted like he got five kids with one deadbeat baby daddy And that he's drinking at the kitchen table alone at 3am I'm so fucking dead The way you just explained it is literally what he's going through Once again you are not getting your man back The Lord already did reveal what he was doing BBY And he was cheating on you BBY Lord I pray for my relationship cause I Gakashi would never do that to me You keep saying that Can you don't fuck with me you he don't duck with you never said we was dating it was just a hookup oh omg i mean that's what it was nothing wasn't ever established also it was more like i fuck your bitch type of thing yep and then he was good his head game is immaculate i swear i almost saw heaven hinata stop her about to make yamaguchi tweak out let's have a toast to the good life suicide before you see this tear fall down my eyes me and my baby we gonna be all right we gonna live a good life what the fuck do I gotta do to get my bitch back? I don't want no other 
bitch, nigga. What the fuck do I gotta do to get my link? Get my link, bitch. Now look what y'all did. He's crashing out. Big homie better grow up. Me and my ward is about to stroll up. I see them boppers in a corner. They sneaking out the back door. He only want me when I'm not there. That's your hoe. I fucked your bitch. Hold up. Your face look mad as shit. Shit, bye bye please, Hinata and Kojima ain't real bro, they are trolls I'm telling you, no no like I actually did, we have a whole 7 hour video, 7 hours, that's what comes with being an athlete good stamina, and it was both of us, he takes IT very well, Yamaguchi, holy fuck Tsukishima answer the fucking phone please I'm calling you, Yah is calling you, he- He better call Becky with the good hair He better call Becky with the good hair. NGL, he cooked your ass chat. Okay, I don't care, please. Tsukshima, I need you, I'm sorry. You didn't need me when you cheated. Fuck, bro, I'm sorry. I don't fucking care, fuck you. Tsukishima went offline. We need a plan to get him back, NGL. Cause you on thin ice. But I'm sure we can do something. There's no going back. Tsukishima has a soft spot for you like yeah you cheated on him and you fucked up, and you was being a dick about it, ouch, but listen it's your time to do the right thing, it's best if you leave him alone for a little bit, I think it's best you should hear what we gotta say, Hinata and Kageyama enough please, no, we gotta go into detail. On some ho shit. Superman, I get them bands, but ain't gonna buy you roses. Super duper, get them cougars, took my wrist and froze it. I'm Hinata and Kojima speaking in some riddles. I always knew these niggas were tortles, bro. Chat, please mute them. This nonce. Super duper hoes, y'all got oompa loompa hoes. I ain't never knew your hoes. Probably still ran through them, though. Why are they dissing him through prentices and they not making any sense? Stop it love them, why are you guys like this? Shit they not gonna shut up about it and I'm here for it. Wait wait, I, I do know your hoe? I'm talking about, I'm talking about Tracy? No, 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 you mean, like, like Tracy with the ass? Tracy with the, with the Honda? Shit, well. Chat NGL if I was Yamaguchi I would have ripped each other their fingers off one by one. Bout to put y'all on a circle chain. Yamaguchi sent an attachment. Stop. I'm dead. Wait what is a circle chain? Necklace with a circular pendant adorned with wings. This pendant usually features a photo of the deceased. Um, I don't think that's good. I'm kinda scared. Oops baby, fuck up on your bitch like oopsie daisy. Never knew that was your boo, baby. We know like damn I get it. Like Paul bent him over. He hit him five times in the coupe, cool Mercedes. Whoopsie daisy. Dad, stop it. This is outrageous. Are y'all done yet? Yes. No, wait, what about me? I have a few words of wisdom. In the know, but I just really gotta say this. She wanna go viral. We fucking for hours. That pussy got power. That pussy got power. She wet in the shower. That pussy get loud. We saying no vow. We fucking no cow. Nope. Oh, oh my, y'all I swear I just had a dream about Hinata and Kojima passing away. This is what turned people into villains. IDK Yamaguchi, you sure you want your nigga back? It looked like it got cracked by two different niggas at the same time. It looks like... Digging in deep, deep, you wanna get geek. Uh, she snippin' that flower, we geekin' for hours. They play as a player, they peek at the vowel. To my brother she owls. She hollering, in preparing Yamaguchi funeral, cause I would just die at that point NGL, I still want Tsukshima, they crack me nigga, what do you want back, leftovers, Dad, I can't am dying oh my fuck. I'm coming my baby, fuck it on crocodile burk in the bag, you don't take breaks you won't fuck on the daily, had to start get some purse for this lady. We go CC, make him wanna go crazy, Chad are we seeing this, this is embarrassing for you Yamaguchi once again, if I was you I would not want my girl back, cause WTF. Yamaguchi you cheated and then your man get cracked the same day stand up, stand up, like damn. I hit Mercedes inside of Mercedes, how would that P got you popping in places? I'm giving that a D on the D boy, baby. I'm giving that a D on the D boy, baby. I'm in a good light to sit up. I looked at Akashi and smiled. Little do you know, yo Kiru I'm actually about to run this fade. No fade will be caught cause I'm just joking. Bro, don't let me fucking find out. So 
I dropped the dig out like a dealer. Yeah, I left a few racks, pay your rent up. Rent up. She made that little pussy pop like a pimple. I'm parking right here in the center. Yeah, I tell her pull up, she gon' mop out the dribble. Sai at this point just let them Finchy and square up after Yamaguchi. Cause Ike you cheated but NGLLL I'll kill SMB if they fuck my bitch. That's why I upgraded her denture. Uh, and I'm out in love with you. She wanna go viral. viral. We fucking for hours. hours. That pussy got power. That pussy got power. She wet in the shower. Wait. That pussy get loud. loud. We say no vow. We fucking no cow. Nope. I'm digging in deep. She wanna get geek. Uh, she she sniffing that flower. flower. We geeking for hours. They play as a player. Play. They pee get devoured. Pee. To my brother, she owls. Winnetta and Kageyama went offline. Now that that is over, open the door. Yeah, we outside Yamaguchi. Kiru Bakudo and Yamaguchi went offline. Kiru was confused on how Yamaguchi could cheat on Su Kishima of all people. He has to be dumb ass. How can you cheat on someone who's such a catch? So you're telling me that Yamaguchi cheated on Suki? And that's why he ran away? That's a dick move. I can't believe Yamaguchi could do something so bad. Poor Tsuki. Kiru looked at Yamaguchi with a confused yet angry look on his face. Why would you cheat on Tsuki? He's the best guy out there. Who's your side chick? Yamaguchi repiled. Komori. Kiru didn't even think of asking Yamaguchi if cheating was a mistake. He wanted to go straight to kicking Yamaguchi's head off. Why? Why would you cheat? That man loves you with all his heart. For God's sakes you two are engaged. You don't do that to your fiancé. Tsuki is an amazing person. Just because someone's hot and wants you does not mean you should just go with it. What's your excuse? What made you betray Tsuki? He didn't do anything. He's such a hard-working man. He's talented, gorgeous, athletic, smart. He's everything you could ask for. I didn't have an excuse. I don't even fucking know why I did it. I'm just so stupid. But I need you guys help. I need to get him back. I love him too much to lose him to something like this. But how did you cheat? You both are engaged. Did you kiss? Did you talk to Komori behind Tsukishima's back? Please do tell us. I fucked Komori. A few time but we were drunk it wasn't any feelings involved. Bakudo was completely in shock. The same went for Kiru. They both didn't know how to respond. I know I fucked up. But please help me win him back. I know how much you two love each other. Kiru said. But how am I supposed to help you? You really messed this one up you know. Tsuki deserves better than someone who goes off with someone else. I may not know Tsukishima very well. But even I know how much that hurt and shattered his heart. And his better me instead of fucking Hinata and Kageyama. I would have fucked your mom, your sister, your dad, your brother and your dog. Kiru tried to hide his chuckle. It was funny yet wrong to say. But right now it was his only choice for this situation. Just please help me bro. Please I'll pay you guys. Bakudo looked at him with a sly look. Pay us? I am pretty expensive. Bakudo joked. Kiru looked at Bakudo and smiled. We're not gonna take your money, but we'll help for the sake and getting you and Suki's relationship back in a healthy state again. Thank God I didn't have any money anyways I was gonna pay y'all back with some head but thank you so much I appreciate this. Both Bakudo and Kiru were shocked from that, but they both tried their best to hide it. Kiru laughed. I would have appreciated the offer, he said jokingly. Bakudo nugged him. Don't you fucking dare, I will tell Kenma, I am not helping anymore. Wait, I was just kidding take a jokey. After the intense encounter, Hinata and Kageyama finally pulled away, leaving Tsukishima in the aftermath of the whirlwind of emotions and sensations. The absence of their touch suddenly made Tsukishima feel incredibly cold and alone. Despite the pleasure and excitement, a pang of guilt and confusion started to creep in. He was now left alone with his thoughts and the memory of what just happened. He ran his hands through his hair, trying to make sense of the swirling emotions in his head. Tsukishima's mind kept drifting back to the situation with Tadashi and Komori. The recent event had stirred up all sorts of feelings within him. He sat heavily on the edge of his bed, his body still thrumming with the aftereffects of Hinata and Kageyama's touch, but his mind was elsewhere. He felt a mix of anger, hurt, betrayal, and a strange sense of emptiness. Tsukishima was startled out of his thoughts by the knock on his door. It was quite late, and a pang of worry shot through him. Who could be visiting at this time? He got up from the bed, crossing the room and reaching the door. He hesitated for a moment, wondering if he should ignore it, but something compelled him to open it. Jumped in his chest at the sight of Tadashi, and a flurry of emotions rushed through him. Anger, hurt, confusion, and yes, even a touch of longing. He schooled his features, trying to keep his expression neutral and shut the door in his face. Tsukishima stood there, his back resting against the closed door, his heart beating rapidly in his chest. He couldn't deny the effect Tadashi's presence had on him, no matter how much he tried to hide it. 
he leaned his head against the door, his mind racing, what was Tadashi doing here, why now, so late at night, did he want to explain himself, apologize, or was it something else entirely, Tadashi's voice was slightly muffled by the door but still audible, Tsukishima, please let me in, we need to talk, Tadashi's voice was laced with a combination of pleading and desperation, Tsukishima closed his eyes for a moment, the sound of Tadashi's voice stirring up a barrage of emotions, he was torn between wanting to hear him out and wanting to push him away, after a brief moment of internal debate, he spoke up, his voice low and firm, leave me the fuck alone I don't want to talk to you, despite the initial harshness of his words, Tadashi could hear the hurt and vulnerability underneath, he leaned his forehead against the door, his voice earnest, please, Tsukishima, I know I messed up, and I owe you an explanation, can't we talk, just for a few minutes, Tsukishima's heart was in turmoil, on one hand, he harbored a deep anger and hurt towards Tadashi for what he had done, on the other, he couldn't deny that he still cared, and the fact that Tadashi was here, begging for a chance to explain himself, tugged at his heartstrings, he took a deep breath before responding, his voice still firm, give me one good reason why I should talk to you right now, Tadashi was silent for a moment, considering his words, when he spoke again, his voice was shaky and sincere, I, I know I hurt you, I made a terrible mistake, and I can't take it back, but I need you to understand why it happened, and I want you to hear me out, fuck all that, get lost and leave, Tadashi's heart ached at the coldness in Tsukishima's voice, but he knew he couldn't force him to listen, Tsukishima, he spoke gently, please, I, I just want to make things right, at least give me a chance to explain, no, Tadashi bit back a sigh of frustration but tried once more, Tsukishima, please, I don't expect you to forgive me right now, I just, his voice cracked a bit, I just need you to hear me, give me a few minutes, that's all I ask, Tsukishima's mind was a whirlwind of conflicting emotions, but as he listened to the pleading in Tadashi's voice, he found himself wavering, one minute, he finally said, his voice cool and detached, you have one minute, go downstairs and I'll stay up here I'll open my window I don't want you in here, Tadashi's heart leaped at the small concession, he took in a deep breath, his mind racing to try and compress his thoughts into a one minute explanation, all right, he replied, trying to keep the relief out of his voice, just one minute, I understand, I'll be downstairs, by your window, as Tsukishima opened his window, he was greeted by the side of Kiru, Bakudo, and Tadashi all gathered below, each holding something different, Kiru was holding a small speaker, Bakudo was holding a bouquet of flowers and a sign, and Tadashi had a microphone, Tsukishima's heart rate immediately picked up, and surprise mixed with confusion washed over him at the scene unfolding before him, Bakudo stepped forward, his usual cheery demeanor slightly subdued by the seriousness of the moment, he cleared his throat and spoke up, his voice slightly shaky but filled with determination, Tsukishima, you have to listen to him, okay, Yamaguchi wants to say something, Tsukishima narrowed his eyes skeptically, his guard up, he leaned against the window frame, arms crossed, and waited in silence for them to talk, Kiru stepped forward, his gaze fixed on Tsukishima, his expression unusually serious, he took a deep breath before speaking, hey, Tsukishima, Yamagachal made a huge mistake, and we know he can't undo the past, but he really need to talk to you, Tsukishima raised an eyebrow in response, still guarded and wary, he didn't say anything, but his tense stance and the flicker of curiosity in his eyes betrayed that he was listening, at least somewhat, the Kudo turned up the volume on the speaker, and the first few notes of Player's Prayer by Lloyd filled the air, as it began to play, Tadashi stepped forward, microphone in hand, and started singing, his voice was slightly shaky, but he sang with a raw honesty that was difficult to ignore, I should not run these streets, that I should not hit these clubs Every night of the week, looking for some groupy love That I should respect your heart, that I should not play you hard But I did, I was wrong and I'm hating So Kishima's heart clenched as Tadashi's voice carried up to him The lyrics cutting deep and hitting all the right emotional chords He found himself listening intently, unable to look away from the scene unfolding below Now I'm calling his cell phone, over and over the scene before Tsukishima was a mix of painful memories and an oddly beautiful sight. Tadashi, on his knees, singing the song while Bakudo and Kiru looked on supportively. The sight of Tadashi, vulnerable and sincere, stirred up a myriad of conflicting emotions within him. Yes. 
As Tadashi continued singing, the lyrics cut right through Tsukishima's defenses, the words, the raw emotion in his voice, and the sight of him on his knees. It was as if Tadashi was holding nothing back, pouring out every ounce of remorse and love he had within him. Tsukishima felt a wave of complex emotions wash over him. He wanted to stay angry, to push Tadashi away, but it was getting harder and harder to do so. I was just playing with them girls, I was gonna get right back. I was tripping your love, it's very sad. I'm on my knees, Lord, please show me some love. Listen this place, pray. As the song went on, the neighborhood residents were now openly recording the spectacle. Some were snickering, others had their phones out, and a few even seemed genuinely touched. Tsukishima couldn't help but chuckle to himself, the ridiculousness of the situation and Tadashi's cracked voice somehow endearing despite the anger he felt. He felt his cheeks heat up a bit, the situation getting to him more than he'd like to admit. Thou shall not stand you up, thou shall not put his friends before you live your lonely every week. I should not waste your time, I should not make you cry, but I did, I was wrong and I'm hating me. Tadashi continued singing, clearly pouring his heart out, despite the cracked voice. His voice cracked and he stumbled over a few words but kept going, determined to get his message across. Tsukishima watched silently from his window, his emotions a tangled mess. He knew he should be feeling angry, betrayed, but a part of him was softening, touched by Tadashi's desperate effort. Kudo and Kyuru joined in, singing along to parts of the song and performing a ridiculous dance routine for the growing crowd. The onlookers were both laughing and cheering, enjoying the spectacle and the surprising entertainment happening in the neighborhood. Tadashi, still holding the microphone, stood up and pointed right at Tsukishima's window, continuing to sing as he did so. The gesture was clear, and the message in his eyes was too. He was singing to Tsukishima, pouring his heart out to the one person he was trying to reach. The crowd, now fully invested in the spectacle, started to chant take him back, and others screaming give him another chance as they watched Tadashi point at Tsukishima's window. Tadashi's cheeks flushed a deeper shade of red, caught off guard by the unexpected encouragement from the crowd. Tsukishima leaned further out the window, his face now visible to the crowd below. He was clearly trying to maintain his stoic demeanor, but the pink tinge on his cheeks gave away how flustered he was. The chants and cheers from the crowd were getting louder, the whole scene getting more and more theatrical. Girl, I'm on my
After a few moments of internal struggle, Tsukishima couldn't help but cave in, the side of Tadashi, on his knees, singing his heart out, with Bakuto and Kyuru supporting him, and the crowd chanting take him back, it was all too much, Tsukishima took a deep breath, his heart thumping in his chest, before speaking up, his voice loud enough for Tadashi and the crowd to hear, all right, all right, Tsukishima finally called out, I can't take it anymore, I'll talk to you, Tadashi, just, stop this ridiculousness and come up here, the crowd quieted down momentarily, then erupted into cheers and applause, Tadashi beamed, relief washing over his face as he rushed up the stairs, Bakuto and Kyuru were whooping and hollering, clearly excited about the unexpected outcome, Bakuto and Kyuru high-fived each other, clearly pleased with their little plan, it worked, dude, it worked, Bakuto said, unable to hide his glee, yeah, I guess our player's prayer plan wasn't a total bust after all, Kyuru replied with a smirk, now, let's leave the lovebirds alone and go get some drinks, I feel like celebrating, Kyuru said, patting Bakuto on the back, hell yeah, let's go, Bakuto agreed, Tsukishima was still perched at his window, his gaze fixed on Tadashi as he made his way up the stairs, as Tadashi finally reached him, Tsukishima said, his voice firm but slightly softer than usual, you have a lot of explaining to do, Tadashi, come in, Tadashi nodded, his eyes wide and hopeful, he entered the room, taking a deep breath before finding a seat on the edge of the bed, he looked at Tsukishima, his expression a mix of guilt, nervousness, and hope. Tsukishima shut the window and turned to face Tadashi, his arms folded across his chest. He studied Tadashi's nervous demeanor silently for a few moments, before saying firmly, Talk, what happened, Tadashi? Tadashi took a deep breath, collecting his thoughts before speaking, I, I screwed up, Tsukishima, big time, I did something I shouldn't have, and it was wrong, and it hurt you, but I promise, it didn't mean anything, it didn't mean anything, Tsukishima shot back, his tone cold, you betrayed me, Tadashi, you slept with Komori for God's sake, you can't tell me it didn't mean anything, Tadashi shrunk into himself, the guilt and shame evident on his face, it was a mistake, Tsukishima, I swear, I was drunk, and alone, and stupid, and I regret it so much, I know I can't take it back, but I need you to know that it didn't change how I feel about you, I still love you, Tsukishima's expression remained stoic, despite the pang in his heart at Tadashi's words, how am I supposed to trust you after this, how do I know you won't do it again? Tadashi's eyes were filled with pain and desperation, I don't know, okay, I don't know how to make you trust me again, all I know is that I promise I won't do it again, I never wanted to hurt you, Tsukishima, never, I was a fool, but I swear to god I'll do whatever it takes to make it up to you, Tsukishima let out a sharp exhale through his nose, his eyes narrowing, he wanted to believe Tadashi, but the wounds were too fresh, you don't get it, do you, you can't just promise and everything will be okay, trust is like a vase, and once it's broken, you can't just glue it back together and expect it to work the same, Tadashi felt tears welling up, the weight of Tsukishima's words crashing down on him, I know it's not that easy, but what else can I do, Tsukishima, I'm begging you, don't give up on us, on me, please, Tsukishima saw the tears in Tadashi's eyes and for a moment, his cold demeanor wavered, the plea in Tadashi's voice got through to him against his will, he clenched his fists, his face a mask of internal struggle, you really want me to forgive you, don't you, he said, his voice quieter now, Tadashi nodded desperately, tears rolling down his cheeks, I do, more than anything, I can't stand the idea of losing you, Tsukishima, please, I'll do anything, anything you want, Tadashi wiped at his tears, his lower lip quivering, please, Tsukishima, just give me a chance, I'll prove to you day by day that you can trust me again, but don't give up on us, please, Tsukishima took a deep breath, his heart in war with his mind, he wanted to push Tadashi away, to harden his heart against him, but he couldn't ignore the raw emotion in Tadashi's plea, fine, he said, his voice gruff, you've got one chance, one, but if you screw up again, there's no going back, Tadashi exhaled in relief, the tears coming more freely now, but this time from happiness, thank you, Tsukishima, he managed to say between sobs, I won't disappoint you, I swear, I'll prove that I'm worthy of your trust again, Tsukishima watched Tadashi's tears fall, a part of his heart softening despite his internal struggle, he wanted to comfort Tadashi, to hold him, but he suppressed the urge, you better, he said, his voice soft but firm, because I'm not going through this again, Tsukishima noticed Tadashi's restrained impulse to hug him, the sight causing a wave of conflicting emotions, part of him wanted to pull Tadashi into a hug, to let the tension go, but he was still guarded, still cautious, don't get ahead of yourself, he warned, though his voice had a bit less bite to it than before, Tadashi nodded again, his eyes earnest and full of emotion, I understand, 
He said softly, I don't expect things to go back to normal overnight. I know I have to earn your trust back, and that it's going to take time, and I'm willing to do it, Tsukishima. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it up to you. Tadashi nodded without a moment's hesitation. I'm sure, he said. I love you, Tsukishima, and I'm willing to take it slow and do things your way. I just, he paused, his voice cracking with emotion. I just don't want to lose you. Tsukishima listened to Tadashi's words, hearing the love and determination in them. It melted some of the ice around his heart. You won't lose me, he said after a moment, his voice barely above a whisper. But you'd better not make me regret this. Tadashi's eyes widened at the reassurance in Tsukishima's voice. Hope flared in his heart. I won't, he promised, his voice hoarse but unwavering. I'll prove to you every day that you made the right choice. I'll wait for you until you're ready. After Tadashi's promise, silence fell in the room. Both of them were trying to collect their thoughts, the emotions of the night catching up to them. Tsukishima was the first to speak up, his voice quiet but firm. So, where do we go from here, Tadashi? Tadashi swallowed, his mind racing. I, I'm not sure, he admitted. I guess we just, take it one day at a time? We rebuild our trust, our relationship, slowly and carefully. Tsukishima met Tadashi's eyes, the sincerity in them resonating with his own feelings. Good, he said simply, a small note of relief in his voice. Because this isn't going to be easy, and I'm not going to go easy on you. Tadashi gave a small nod. I wouldn't expect you to. Left double quotation mark, he said, a hint of a smile tugging at his lips. Can I sleep here? Tsukishima pondered the request for a silent moment. The thought of sharing a bed with Tadashi stirred up mixed feelings. He didn't want to show weakness, but he also didn't want to close the door entirely. I guess, he finally said, his tone neutral. Tadashi's eyes lit up at Tsukishima's response, a spark of hope igniting in his heart. The possibility of sharing the same space, even if it wasn't physically close, was a step in the right direction. Thank you, he said softly, grateful for the trust shown. I appreciate it. Tsukishima nodded, dismissing his own feelings. Don't get too excited, he said, though his voice lacked the usual edge. You're on thin ice. This doesn't mean everything is okay. Tadashi nodded in understanding, his smile faltering slightly at Tsukishima's words. I know, he said quietly, and I'm not expecting things to be normal right away. I just, I want to show you that I'm serious, that I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. Tsukishima's eyes met Tadashi's, a flicker of uncertainty in them. He wanted to believe Tadashi, but trust was a delicate thread that had been significantly damaged. Then prove it, he said, his voice firm but not unkind. Prove it every day. In the messy ass GCBC everyone cheating in this bitch, Yamaguchi came online. Yamaguchi sent an attachment.